Hey guys, so welcome to another movie review. Today I'm actually talking about a film that's probably one of my most anticipated films of 2023, and that is the new animated Illumination Super Mario Brothers movie. Um, I've been waiting for this film forever now. Um, I actually was kind of excited that Illumination was doing this one. Um, you know, with Pixar having so many big hits, DreamWorks having so many big hits over the years, I think it was time that Illumination kind of stepped away from the Despicable Me movies and did something really interesting for one of their animated films. And thankfully, Nintendo wanted them to do their Super Mario Brothers reboot um, in animated form. And um, I just got really excited ever since then. And I've actually been one of the few people that have really voiced support for, you know, Chris Pat voicing Mario and everything about this production I've really been supportive of so far. And uh, I've been a huge Mario fan my whole life. Ever since I was about four years old, I've been playing the games. And so uh, the Mario game franchise has always been close to my heart. So the fact that they managed to make and give, you know, Mario another chance at the big screen again was, you know, very exciting opportunity for me. And um, yeah, I'm going to definitely going to review that film for you guys today and uh, let you know exactly what I thought of it and uh, let you know if the real Mario fan and myself really enjoyed this film. So, um, so in this movie, though, you guys, Mario and Luigi are trying to start their own plumbing business in New York, uh, Brooklyn, New York, like they are in the games. I believe they are from Brooklyn in the games as well. And, um, you know, plumbing business is not going well. They're not finding a lot of clients. They're still living at home with their family. They're still living at home with their mom and dad. And um, business is not going well. They had to put a lot of money into this commercial just to get people um, aware of their plumbing business. But their big opportunity breaks when um, there's something going wrong with the sewers in Brooklyn. And they actually have, have to go down in the pipes and figure out what exactly is going on um, you know, down below in the sewers. And so while they're down there, Luigi finds a warp pipe and it sends them both to the Mushroom Kingdom from the games. And while they're there, they find out there's a huge threat named Bowser that's lurking upon the kingdom there. Um, he has one of the power stars, which if, if any of you have played the games, uh, that basically gives you even more power and more opportunities to take over kingdoms if you want to. And so basically over the course of this movie, they team up with Princess Peach, who has a lot of knowledge over this mushroom kingdom. And they have to figure out how to, how to stop Bowser, how to make sure that he doesn't get into the real world in Brooklyn as well. And basically continue the reign of terror that he's bringing already to the mushroom kingdom into the real world as well. But overall, guys, I absolutely love this movie. Um, the, the Mario fan in me was absolutely pleased with everything Illumination did with this movie. Um, I love the story. I love the characters. Uh, it's just an absolute fun ride of a movie to get through. It's just um, absolutely terrific. Um, I really liked how they chose to revision Mario and, and revisioned him for the big screen. Uh, so let's go over some positives and negatives of what I loved about the movie. What well, quite didn't work out at first, but I think they could absolutely change for a sequel. But um, th there's a, a ton of th stuff about this movie that I really, really like and that I think will really make a lot of Mario fans happy too. So for my first positive of this movie, it's just a ton of fun to watch. Um, it, everything about this movie is just so much fun, whether it's the jokes, whether it's the nostalgia or the references to the games or even just how the adventure is handled. Even something as small as at the beginning of the movie, the Mario and Luigi trying to go to one of their plumbing clients and they do like a side-scrolling platformer to basically get to that client and stuff. So just fun stuff like that. Um, it's just a super fun movie to watch. I was never bored throughout the movie. It's also very short, so if you're worried about a long runtime, this is not that movie to be worried about. Um, it's just a ton of fun to watch and it's just a ton of fun to experience in this movie. Um, and like I said, Mario fans are going to be completely in a nostalgia rush for this whole movie. Um, I caught a lot of the references. I caught a lot of nods to the games. There's just a ton of stuff in this movie to pick out and, um, you know, like, oh, that's a cool Mario 3 reference. That's a cool Mario World reference. That's a cool Mario 64 reference. That's a cool Mario Galaxy reference. And just stuff like that throughout over the course of this movie. It's just a ton of fun to watch. And I think a lot of Mario fans are going to be really happy with this movie. I also really liked the voice cast of this film. I thought Jack Black was appropriately cast as Bowser. Um, I liked what Seth Rogen did as Donkey Kong. I know a lot of people aren't enjoying what he did for the voice role, but I personally really liked what he did. Loved what um, Charlie Day did with Luigi. I loved what Chris Pratt did with Mario. And also Anya Taylor-Joy. I think this is kind of my favorite version of Peach. I like that she's very independent, very knowledgeable. Almost can kind of tackle stuff in the Mushroom Kingdom better than Mario can. And um, just a ton of fun voice cast. Um, a lot of them even dressed up kind of as their animated counterpart at the premiere of this movie. You know, Chris Pat wore red. 
Charlie Day wore green. Um, Andy Taylor Joe wore, wore like the warrior princess outfit that Peach wore at one point in the movie. Jack Black had kind of this like fire theme going on with his outfit and just a, as you could tell, they had a lot of fun making this movie and uh, just a ton, ton of fun watching this voice cast perform in this movie. Also, this film is just visually stunning. I just absolutely love the color palette of this movie. They definitely took the color palette of the games and truly brought it to the big screen in the best way possible. It's just visually stunning as well. I just I love that you can see all the seams on like Mario's overalls and um, you can. I, I was even kind of whispering over to a friend of mine when he first lands into the Mushroom Kingdom. You could see like each little individual st strand of grass uh, as he's landing next to like a field of mushrooms. Just like small details like that is really impressive. Um, I absolutely love the visuals of this movie. I just couldn't get enough of them. I also thought the action, the comedy was very effective in this movie. They definitely have, you know, like a showdown with Bowser at one point. Um, a lot of the comedy I think is very effective. Um, they even kind of poke fun at, uh, uh, what Mario's Tanuki suit looks like at one point in the movie when Luigi sees kind of what Mario looks like in it and stuff. So there's just tons of fun of stuff like that in it. The action, the comedy I thought was very well handled in this movie. I also like all the potential sequels and a potential Nintendo franchise they could build off of this. Um, I'm definitely getting maybe possible Mario Sunshine storyline vibes they could use for the sequel. Um, I'm definitely getting, we even kind of get a little bit of a taste of a Luigi's Mansion movie possibly in this. Um, when Luigi kind of gets separated from Mario and he's in this dark forest that he has to get out of. Um, there's even potential of like a Donkey Kong Country movie because they introduce the Congo Jungle and they introduce kind of the Kongs and how Cranky Kong runs it and how Donkey Kong is kind of the popular Kong amongst all of them and stuff like that. Um, so I definitely hope they make more. I hope it's not just a one and done. I really hope Nintendo really pushes Illumination to be like, hey, you know, that Legend of Zelda is pretty cool to do in, in a film. You know, Kirby Superstar could be a cool, you know, film to do. Star Fox Adventure. Um, this, all the sequels, a potential franchise they could do off of this, I think could be a lot of fun. But for my negatives of the Mario Brothers movie, um, it is a very short runtime, and unfortunately, as a result, there's just not a lot of breathing room for the story. Like, once we get to one plot point, we immediately go to the next one. It just kind of feels like there's not a lot of breathing room for some of that more emotional stuff to be absorbed in our brain for a little bit. Um, so I do prefer if they if they do make another one, hopefully there's more breathing room in the story and not such a short runtime because that does kind of shorten your opportunity to really build upon the characters and make sure kind of any emotional baggage they're feeling over the course of this film does get it absorbed with us with the audience as well. Um, so I thought more breathing room could have happened in the story to really kind of get us really into the material that happens through over the course of this movie. I also thought more things was needed for Luigi to do. Uh, this really isn't a spoiler because it's right in the trailer, but he does get separated from Mario in the movie. Uh, Bowser kind of gets a hold of him at one point in the movie. Um, and it's just kind of Luigi stuck in a cage for a little while. And unfortunately, there's just not a lot of stuff for him to do when you do that. Um, so I don't know if they could have stretched out the Luigi's Mansion kind of nods or if they could have stretched out the Dark Forest stuff a little bit longer. Um, but there's just because I enjoyed what Charlie Day was doing so much with this character, I would have liked to see more opportunities of things that he could have done more as a character over the course of the story if he was given more to do in the film, too. Um, some of the designs I thought could have been a little bit more loyal to the games. One that really stood out to me is, uh, for those who played the Mario Kart games, when we see Donkey Kong in his kart, I, I remember mostly, maybe it's just me be, uh, playing Mario Kart Double Dash a lot as a kid also, but um, I, I recall he had more of like a DK barrel kind of look to his carts. Um, I don't know if that was specifically for that game or for later games, but it didn't really feel like... Um, I feel like for those who are going to go play Mario Kart after seeing this movie, they're going to like, wait, why is Donkey Kong's kart so different than what he drove in the movie and stuff like that? So there's just small things like that I think could have been more loyal to the games. Um, I think they also refer to Bowser's Land as like the Dark Land or something. And so there's just small stuff like that where as a huge Mario fan as myself, I just remember some of the terminology and some of the design looked quite different in the games back when I was playing them and stuff like that. So certain design choices I thought could have been better, but for the most part, like when Mario's in his cart and when they're in the Mushroom Kingdom, when they're in the Congo jungle, um, all of that looks great. So, I mean, there's really not a lot of design choices that got on my nerves. There was, if anything, there was more design choices that I thought was really strong for the movie. 
But overall, guys, I'm going to give the Super Mario Brothers movie a 9.5 out of 10. I really love this movie. I really hope Illumination makes more of these Mario films. Um, I, I just had so much fun watching it. Um, the, the Mario fan in me had such a nostalgia rush over the course of this movie of all the cool little Easter eggs they throw at us over the course of this movie. Um, like I said, could have been longer, could have had more breathing room for story. Um, more things could have happened for Luigi. Um, and some of the designs I thought could have been more loyal to the game, specifically Donkey Kong's cart. And then they get into the Mario Kart stuff. But overall, 9.5 out of 10. I highly recommend seeing this movie if you're a Mario fan, a Nintendo fan, even a video game fan. If you're still kind of hesitant of, of the whole, you know, video game movies will never quite be as good as comic book movies and stuff. If you're still kind of in that league, I'm hoping the Mario Brothers movie will kind of persuade you further that I think we're kind of out of that. I think, you know, things like The Last of Us and the Sonic the Hedgehog and Detective Pikachu, I think that's kind of hopefully the direction we're going in with video game movies now. And Hopefully the Mario Brothers movie, this new one, will join that list as well. So 9.5 out of 10. Um, yeah, 9.5 out of 10. And uh, really highly recommend this movie. And be sure to check out Super Mario Brothers movie. It's really quite good.